All right, here's a fun one where we want to make a graph based on all these cool conditions. I'm actually going to go backwards first. Uh, so let's start off um, with rule six. We need f is zero to be zero. So I'll draw a nice uh, dot at zero, zero. So that one's done. Now we need to uh, know that as we approach infinity, then we have uh, our function goes to zero, which means we have a horizontal asymptote at, uh, at y equals zero. So I'll just try to draw that there. So we have a horizontal asymptote at y equals zero. Notice if I approach minus infinity, we also get zero. So therefore our horizontal asymptote, both of these uh, give us the same result. So we've got that one done. Now we're approaching, we're doing uh, number three now. So we're approaching two from the left side and we get minus infinity. That means we have a, um, a vertical asymptote. So let's go ahead and draw that. So at two, we have a vertical asymptote. So I'll write that there. So that's at x equals two. But as we approach, um, uh, as we approach two from the left side, we're going down to negative infinity. So I would say that um, we uh, we could draw a um, graph, something like um, uh, this. So we could draw something like this. We have a horizontal asymptote and then uh, a vertical asymptote. So something like that. And then, uh, so we got that one done. On the right side, it approaches plus infinity. We still have the horizontal asymptote. So being bound by both is typically what happens. So you can have more complicated ones where it goes above and below. So for example, um, I could even have uh, this graph, depending on the function, I could have something like uh, this asymptote and then have it go over. Whoops, <laughs> I'll make that a little bit better. Um, oh, whoops, first of all, I just forgot that we have to go through our dot. So actually, I'm glad I like rethought it because we have to fix the fact that it must go through zero, zero. We are bound by our asymptotes, but we are having to go through zero, zero. So I'm going to have it go through zero, zero, and then it's got to still be bound by the asymptote. So there we go. Okay, so now we definitely, I almost forgot about number six. So we've got number six. We've got our horizontal asymptote for four and five. We have our vertical asymptote with a negative infinity on the left, positive infinity on the right. And so the only thing left is this one. And I put this one separate because this one has issues. Um, I wanna make sure the problem was written correctly because um, we can't uh, have a, limit existing at two um, when we have infinite limits. And even if both of these both went to infinity, approaching left and right at x equals two, or both went to positive infinity, officially we wouldn't write it as shown. So I think this one doesn't fit the rest of the problem, um, but everything else, what I would basically say is limit x approaches two of f of x um, does not exist because left side and right side are not the same. Uh, the limit does not exist. And also if you approach infinity, you can still say it, it does not exist. So anyway, hopefully that helped. Um, let me just fix this bottom one because I started making the arrow point backwards on itself. So let's get that looking just a little bit better. So let's fix that real quick. So we're gonna um, get rid of this little arrow piece. Okay, so we're gonna have it um, go up above and then through and then uh well that's supposed to go straight down <laughs> okay anyway hopefully that helped have a wonderful day